he was saying some really mean and just not true things about me on social media. So I printed out screenshots of it and I brought his hoodies to his house and I taped all of those screenshots to the package so that his mom wow. could read them. Wow. Wow. We brought together seven people who've been cheated on. My name is Sejan and I've been cheated on. My name is Angel and I've been cheated on. Hi, my name is Morgan and I have been cheated on. Hi, I'm Marianne and I've been cheated on. Hi, my name is Vivian and I've been cheated on. Hi, my name is Avi and I've been cheated on. Hi, my name is Aaron and I have been cheated on. One of them is a cheater. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. How's Good everyone going on? Good. Great. Yeah. So, Great. who's cheated? I took psychology class, and what they said is, when you talk to people, look into their eyes and ask them a question. So, I, I, I can ask the question to everybody, or some, somebody wants to ask. The mom would say you that. You can though. see <laughs> their pupils like, like they dilate a little bit. Like, so he took on a leadership role immediately. Maybe he was asking those questions so that he could give his prepared response to kind of try to convince us. I was gonna go straight for the kill question. Like, mm. do you guys think cheating is like a re like? Could you be redeemed after that? Oh man, mm. I, I, I personally I think, don't think so. I think it's very nuanced. I think that most of the time, no. But also, like for me, I was cheated on twice. But one of the times, I was 15, and it's like, do I think that that person is gonna be a cheater? their entire life. I don't mm. think so, we were yeah. kids. Sorry, I was just gonna say there is also kind of a gradient. Like, yeah. I mean, for me, I'm not a very jealous person. If you're drunk at a bar and you kiss a stranger and you feel bad about it, like I can swallow that. Mm. But if you're fully like went home with someone like mm. at each level did not stop a hookup from happening, which is what happened to me. She said something about like, if you if you just kiss somebody at like a bar or something like that, uh, you know, it's not that bad or something like so. That right there was still considered like a form of cheating to me. So I thought she was the mole herself. To me, it depends on the person and how much they're willing to make it work and change. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, I do believe in change, but if they're like making excuses, it's just like, oh, I'm sorry, babe, but it'll never happen again. Yeah. And then, then yeah. they, they like change for like that period of time and then it happens again. You know, it's kind of like, what is your commitment to your change? Or if they try to downplay how bad yeah. it was. I also think it depends on like who cares, because I know some people care a lot about cheating and others that don't. Some people will find that more redeemable. I feel like mm. most people would care about cheating though. Right? Yeah. yeah. I just felt like he was very confident, but in a way that kind of felt scripted. To John said that stuff about not everyone cares about cheating, and I was like, that's, that's a little off to me. We actually have a tie. The tie is between Avi and Tijan. Tijan, do you wanna go ahead and, and go first? I really didn't get that much time to talk, so I was just kind of like letting you guys talk it all out. I got cheated on when I was in college, and I actually found it very interesting what you said. Yeah, you. Okay. Because you were saying that like you could forgive somebody who was um, like just hooking up if they were just like a random stranger kissing, and that's actually what my ex did to me. Oh, so I'm sorry about I that. just thought it was uh, interesting. Well, I actually grew up in like a traditional Indian family household, so the way I was brought up was to always treat women with respect. For me, actually, I have a very interesting story how I found out that my uh, girlfriend was cheating on me. I saw a, a Facebook profile picture with her with another dude. She's like, oh, we've been best friends for two years. Come to find out we've been dating for two years. So. Why? That's my story. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that coming in, I was gonna be eliminated first. I'm just seen as somebody who's a player. It just all just kind of like made sense to me. Did you do anything crazy when they cheated on you? I was about to. <laughs> I was about to. When I got cheated on, I actually kept it to myself for a week because oh I know it was hard. I don't know why I tortured myself, but it was because I was so pissed that I wanted to plant revenge. Yeah. And it just ended up slipping in one of our arguments. <clears throat> I we actually, found did, out. I, I personally actually dealt with not really revenge, but I so I hit up that guy because I found him on social media, you know, and mm -hmm. found out that he's been That's dating for a long time. I was trying to, I was trying to find the girl. So I told him to set up a date with her at Cheesecake Factory. 
And I was like, I'm just gonna show up. What an arena. Dude, that was my idea. So I That's literally what I want. showed up. My dream. So they're, 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 they're having kidding. their day. I, I'm like, this fully planned. I walk in there and then literally she just goes immediately to like just bawling out, crying and stuff like that. She's like, I'm so sorry, I'm this. But. If that really did happen, I'm so sorry. But like, that was just like crazy to me. It was like this perfect cinematic masterpiece of like, I wish I could do that. Not entirely wish it, but. You know what I mean. For me, uh, I was actually trying to do a long distance relationship. A week in to him being away, he cheated on me. Oh my um, God. And he was saying some really mean and just not true things about me on social media. So I printed out like screenshots of it and I brought his hoodies to his house, dropped them off in his parents' house and I taped all of those screenshots to the package so that his mom could read them. Wow. Good wow. for him. Wow. Good for her. Um, I think I was just so caught up in the anger, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Exactly, I know. And the he frustration. It's just like, I couldn't really see clearly. In those moments, I wanted him to feel what I felt. It's absolutely. hard, it's something hard to deal with. Hard. Mm -hmm. It's really tough. So I just wanted to know what your guys' definition of cheating is. That was like on my mind. You yeah. know, how would you guys define um, cheating? I think, I don't know, it's a definition that is really up to like the individual. I think it can change a lot and a lot of people probably agree with that. Like it's really up to someone's boundaries. But obviously, you know, like the typical things like hooking up with someone else, really flirting with someone else, continuing like situation type relationship with somebody would be cheating in my eyes. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's emotional cheating, physical cheating. That's what I was going to yeah. piggyback off on that. Can I clarify what I said in the mm -hmm. last round just because I would hate to discount anyone who that was their experience of like my offhand comment of like kissing a stranger in a bar. I don't know. I, I'm sorry if that is what happened to you. That's just like something that I'm not a very jealous person. There are some acts that are cheating, but that I know that given the right person, the right relationship, I would personally be able to forgive. It's not black and white for me. Um, it's also the intention, I think, because if someone mm -hmm. do it with malicious intention, like if they really want to harm you or yes. they really want to end the relationship, but they are still in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think that's the that's something you need to have an introspection and see like, well, this is bad. I feel like especially within, and I don't want to like be the hater to my generation all, but I just feel like in our day and age, we're like, relationships, we don't discuss boundaries firm enough of yeah. what everybody thinks their definition of cheating is. But no, like I feel like especially when you get cheated on, especially at a younger age, we let our emotions control us a little bit more. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like doing something crazier is just a little bit more rational in people's heads at that age. He played out that ideal story of like getting back at your ex. It could also just be like the typical things that you see at the movies. And again, we have another tie. It's between Avi and Aaron. Yeah, uh, I was actually pretty surprised that I was uh, in another tie again. I was being a bit too casual about it, so I was not surprised that I was chosen. I was living in the same town as my ex and I had to move, and so we knew that we had a deadline. And then when I moved, we decided to have a three-week buffer period where we would do a long distance, and then we had a deadline for our breakup. Two days before that deadline, they went to a Pride event and hooked up with somebody else. If you're gonna cheat, let the other person go first. Don't let them sit through that, because that sucks. Yeah, I mean, just kind of picking back off what I was saying, just the way I was brought up, I don't see cheating as a, as a good thing at all. You have to put yourself in the other person's shoes. If you do cheat, think about like how much damage that can cause to them. Because like, I know when I got cheated on, I didn't even get into a relationship for at least like six months to a year. You guys are actually going to group up and decide on one person that you want to eliminate. might have voted the wrong person. <laughs> Sorry, Avi. Sorry. I said, said a, a story about actually how things unraveled. It did honestly look pretty cinematic, so I think that's why people thought that I was the, I was the mole. And any non-cheaters can slide in my DMs. <laughs> Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue the game. I couldn't focus on all of the people that were playing, uh, but I felt that the people that were out were not the most. All right, that means that the game ends here. If the lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you all win. However, if the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. I knew it, I knew it. Will the mole please reveal themselves in three, two, one. 
What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I feel so dumb. Uh, don't, don't. Um, so I've been on both sides. I've been cheated on, and I've been the cheater. <laughs> when I first applied to to do this, I had like only one intention in mind: is to um, give purpose to my pain. I was cheated on in college. He was the first person who ever made me feel like I was enough. <laughs> so then when he cheated on me, I felt like he took that away from me. <laughs> and I've been struggling with it ever since. For me, the greatest pain wasn't being cheated on, but being the person who inflicted the pain that I already knew so well. You knew better, why didn't you do better? You know, so that was just like, it just hit. It felt like she was all of our exes telling us what we needed to hear. And I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better mole than Marianne because she really gave us that moment to heal. And she was a great like surrogate for uh, everyone who had been hurt to um, get that kind of closure, I suppose. So Marianne, the floor is yours. Um, even though I won, I, I don't want to take it. I actually want to give this prize money to the people who've been cheated on. So if I can invite everyone that was with me, right, to come up stage, we're gonna win this celebratory money and I'm gonna give this to you guys. So this money is going to you guys. I'm not gonna keep any of it. <laughs> you guys just buy me drink, you want. <laughs> everyone dance in on three, yeah. two, one. Money, 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 money! Here we go. I'll throw it. Gotta throw it up in the air. All right, we're all gonna pick it up in the end, but you know why not? We're just gonna do the little bam, yeah. bam, 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 bam. To trauma. Oh, yeah. To trauma. Yeah. <laughs>